Mark and I went to the Eisenhower Presidential Library and Museum and by Boyhood Home in Abilene, Kansas, and we thought we'd just do a quick overview of our trip, showing some of the highlights. Um, the first place is the Boyhood Home. Um, Ida Eisenhower lived in this house until 1946. Um, she really loved to do projects. As you can tell here, there's blue to keep the birds away. Um, she also had several plants and things around the house. It's a very comfortable home, but I can't imagine five boys running around in this tiny little home. Uh, she also liked to do crafts. This says call again, and it's a foil background that she has painted, and it's in the hallway. This is a picture of the kids when they're younger and then the grown men. And this is a view looking into the, uh, I guess you would call it parlor. Um, they offer tours every 15 minutes, and there's someone there to answer your questions. And it is every 15 minutes. They're pretty strict about that. This pillow is um, the boys is named Dwight, Milton, Edgar, Earl, Arthur, and Roy. Um, she obviously had a lot of time on her hands to do crafts. This is the kitchen and the dining area. Um, she used to make all the bread. She made seven loaves and that proofed it in that little box there. Did that three times a week. Um, this is one of the bedrooms on the lower floor. There's also a, another one upstairs. And as you can see, um, they have ramps for the wheelchairs. Um, the next place that we went to is called the Place of Meditation. This is the finding, final resting place for President Eisenhower, First Lady Mamie Eisenhower, and their firstborn son, Dowd or David, who Camp David is named for. Um, there's several quotes around the building that Eisenhower did while he was president. He also had a place for you to sit as per his instructions. Um, there's the presidential prayer there. These are all things that he wanted to have included in the building. Um, the next place we went to on the campus was the library, and they have some very exquisite artwork. This is the front doorknob, and here is the front lobby looking over towards one of the other buildings. These are some of the things that he had during his presidency. Um, they have a lot of details, V for victory on the lights, and there's some really beautiful marble walls and floors. Um, they have these photo placards around on the first floor, but upstairs they have quite a few, and this is one of them from upstairs, and I thought, uh, presidential noogies, who knew? But they have several pictures up there that are quite interesting. Then um, out in the courtyard, there's the pylons, and this was a project of the Kansas uh, Daughters of the American Revolution. And then they also have uh, the statue here is Champion of Peace, and they want you to stand in front of it and do hashtag stands like Ike at Ike Library, hashtag Ike Life. Uh, this thing's 11 foot tall. Uh, next, we went to the museum. Um, this is quite the place. They uh, have uh, paintings in the library, as you or not library, excuse me, the museum as you go in to the lobby, and this goes all the way around. It's very impressive. Uh, they have the marble on the floor as well. Um, they've just spent a year renovating all the exhibits, um, so everything's fairly new. Here's um, the, one of the first galleries, which is the early years. Um, this is the marriage to me and me and some of the things that went on there. You can see in the background, little David, he uh, didn't last very long. He was only three years old when he died of scarlet fever. Um, these are ration books, uh, the working for victory, and the books and stamps, and anyone that's older would probably remember those. This is Rosie the Riveter, um, some sheet music. She was an icon representing women working in shipyards and factories during the war. Um, have quite a few things that are just from that time period. This is kind of interesting because you notice the four stars on his hat, and uh, this is war bonds. Well, apparently there was some noses out of joint, and they felt that uh, they shouldn't be told what to do, the Allies. Uh, so if you notice, there's five stars on the car because they thought uh, 
that they should promote him so there wouldn't be so much animosity towards Mr. Eisenhower or President Eisenhower while he was working with the Allies. Um, this is one of the placards that they have in the World War II area gallery. Um, we spent a lot of time in this gallery and it's very impressive and very somber. They have a round table that's just amazing. Um, this is another of uh, the galleries. This is the president's uh, presidential years and uh, some of the campaigning. Mamie has a gallery all dedicated to her in behind this as well. Um, they have several things from the campaigns. And then they have another gallery that's devoted to his presidency. And some of the things that they talked about was his uh, deals were stop communism, reduce the deficit, strengthen social security, increase minimum wage. He created the Department of Health, Education, and Welfare, created the interstate highway system, did quite a few things for the country. Um, would recommend going to this, uh, but not for young children. Uh, it's There's a lot of things in the war room that are very, very graphic as it's tastefully done, but the subject matter, of course. So I would recommend going. Um, enjoy yourself when you're there.